luck, one and all. Now, yesterday, the Queen delivered her annual Queen's speech and announced nine new bills, one of which was the Personal Care at Home Bill, which will see the government spending £670 million on free personal care for the most vulnerable elderly people in their own homes. Now, writing in the Daily Mail, columnist Melanie Phillips said that while it's a good that we're paying attention to the elderly, she's concerned that the more the state intervenes, the less likely it is that we'll be encouraged to look after our own elderly family members. So, is she right? Is the bill going to discourage people uh, to look after their own mum, not to look after their own mums and dads uh, in their old age? And is it actually a child's responsibility to provide that kind of care in the first place? Well, I have to say I don't agree with her at all. I think um, if you love your mum and your dad and, you, and you've respected them and, you know, cared for them generally all their lives, as we all, I think, do, or many of us do, then it's just an extension of that. I don't think it's going to discourage anybody to, uh, from caring for their parents oh, when they get yeah. older. You know, you, 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 I think it's rubbish, actually. I don't agree with her at all. And um, I am really pleased, though, that this is being dealt with. And I just do hope that some of this £670 million, which is not a lot of money, but it's a start, at least, I hope it goes on... Um, training because what worries me is that we do have care already in in the community for older people but it's very very patchy some areas um, like when my grandma died for instance it was fantastic she had oh three or four people coming in every day together with uh, the family because i think ideally it should be a partnership you should you should play your part but the state should play their part too because we have you know already paid into the system we'll have to pay in a bit more for this i know but you know it, it, it does exist already in some areas very well but in other areas it it's terrible. You know, there's nothing. And I re what I'd like to see is it much more evenly spread over the country and generally improved. I, I think I do. I think she's got a point, actually. And I know, you know, hugely, it's a huge generalisation. But, you know, what she's actually saying in her article is that in this country we have, a, it's like a, it's a cultural thing that we do tend to think that the minute people get old, they're somebody else's problem. I'm not saying that's everybody, but it does happen. And what she's saying is if the state take responsibility for all of that, then we'll just carry on living our lives thinking, oh, somebody else will deal with my elderly mm. parents. Mm. And, you know, the thing is, what you have to remember is you don't actually know what is going to happen. Because when my mum, uh, when, well, all the time she was healthy, she always said, I won't let you look after me, because that, that's another cultural thing here. Old people don't want to be a burden to anybody. Mm. And it's really important that they don't feel they are. And my mum always said, I won't have you lot looking after me. That's it. I'll just check myself into a home. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. But when she got sick, it was completely the opposite. She didn't want strangers looking after her. She didn't want people around her. She wanted her family around mm -hmm. her. And, you know, for as long as we could, we were. I mean, she got so sick, we did have to put her somewhere. But she didn't go into a government um, paid for place. It was a hospice, which are, are mainly charity funded. So, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. And I don't think this should be across the board. You know, let's get someone else to look after the uh, old people. Well, no one looks after the old people here. No, they don't. And, and Carol, to be honest, the money that they're putting into the pot wouldn't even begin to, to, to register as a drop in the ocean no, exactly. so that everybody could get the care that they need. And I think also... It's a vote, it's a vote winner, You know, I think we, all, we will all face this at some point with family members or with ourselves. And, and you know, we had to put my nan in, in a home purely because she was a danger to herself living alone. It was the most horrific decision my mum and her, her brothers and sisters had to make. They cared for her as best they could around the clock. They were all working. They have to support their own families and uh, some respite. Like you're mm, suggesting, mm, that kind mm, of partnership between the two is often what's needed, but it gets to the point where we're just not educated medically, emotionally to deal with that. And also there's the question of dignity. Mm. Do you want your son putting you to toilet? But but don't don't you deserve a little family. more dignity than well, that? The other thing is, is, what you have to, is what exactly they're going to do. I mean, to be honest with you, the guilt trip is terrible because I loved my father beyond anything. But, and he got sick and he stayed with me, but he had to go in a home. The guilt is terrible. I have to work. I have to earn. I can't stay at home. And that's what you've got to live with, is that what do we do then? I can't, the days are gone when we all could look after our family because they could all be at home because all of us have to work now. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't have him at home because I had to work. Yeah, but the government should be looking at tax breaks for people who do want to care for their parents rather than, you know, letting them go out to work all the time and dishing out money to send, you know, yeah. strange nurses round. You know, there are other ways of doing it, and I don't think this is it, but, you know, it might get them a but few But it's a good start. It's a start. It's a start. Absolutely. And don't forget, we want to know what you think.